Okay, uh, <clears throat> we're going to do another motion twin using masking. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, so uh, let's make a new movie uh, by default setting. Okay, um, so first we're going to import uh, two different images. Uh, import. The first one is going to be a, a green leaf image. Let me rename this layer as a green. And another new layer. Let me import another new image, which is going to be red. That JPEG. And I'll rename it as a red. So I can tell which layer has which image. Uh, but before we do that, uh, let's make sure uh, the position of this image on zero point. My second image on zero point. Okay, so first and second. Okay, <clears throat> now let's make another new layer on the very top. It's going to be a um, let me name it as a bar. We'll have a motion twin and it will be used as a masking layer. So um, on top bar layer, just to draw a thin skinny bar. The color really doesn't matter. Okay, so let me start from here. So since this is another motion twin, uh, we're going to apply the um, um, the motion twinning first and then the plan is this bar will be moving side by side and we'll change the uh, the width of this rectangle a little bit and then eventually it will cover entire uh, stage and will reveal the green images and we may use this uh, technique for um, as a kind of transition for future use so let's start that from the bar layer. So click on the frame number one. So I'm going to move this bar from here to the right hand side. So um, uh, any animation regarding or related to um, uh, moving, rescaling, changing the angle, and then uh, changing the opacity value things is all about the motion twin. So on that, uh, under the insert menu, choose the motion twin. So since our frame rate is a 24, uh, it keeps the frame number 24 by default. So it really doesn't matter. You can change it later anytime. So um, first, since we inserted the motion twin, uh, we're going to insert the um, keyframe. So um, shortcut is going to be a F6 key. So let me move it from here to here. Okay, uh, but before we do that, let me, why don't I change the um, the color so I can see the um, this bar as a black. Okay, insert motion. No, not shape twin. Insert motion twin. Uh, F six. Let me move it. Let me insert another uh, keyframe on 35. Uh, you can just pick any frame number randomly. Yeah, if you want to have a little bit faster and quicker animation, we can allow to have the um, uh, the smaller number of the yeah, less numbers of frames. So at six, let me move it to the center. Not center, maybe somewhere here. And then also, I want to make it a little bit thicker. So it's moving to the right, coming back to the left, and getting thicker. And let me insert another keyframe, uh, F6. Move it to here. I'm going to make it thinner again, very, very thin. Uh, 50 
160. Another keyframe. Let me move it to the center. And maybe 80. That's going to be my last keyframe. Um, insert the keyframe. I'm going to make it really thick and getting larger, wider, and big enough to cover my entire stage. Like this. So let me hit the return key how it looks like. Okay. Now only thing we need to change now is uh, <clears throat> since my red and green images are gone we just need to extend it from 1 to 80. So let's select the frame number 80 on my red frame, a red layer. Hit the F5 to insert the frame so we can extend it. Same thing happens on the bottom layer, F5. Okay. So let me hide the top two layers. Bottom layer, I have a green leaves. Second layer, I have a red leaves. Top layer, I have the bar. So by insert applying the masking on my bar layer, I'm going to we're going to present the red lips inside of this black bar, and then other air will be green. So it's kind of a masking thing. So let me highlight the bar layer on top, hold down the control, click on the bar layer, apply the mask. So once you hit the return key this happens. Let me test the movie. So um, this animation we may use it as a kind of a transitional things for the future animated banner or any kind of a, a transition between pages or uh, also um, uh, the shape on top for the masking I made the I'm just um, the, the bar, but it could be any shape, any vector shape. Could be a circle or any uh, polygon style, anything's fine. Or we may start from the um, a little dot to oval or a circle, any shape. So that's it.